Combing has Nolan Barger here. One of their strongest wrestlers going against the freshman Roscoe's of Gettysburg. Barger shoots in, grabs Roscoe's leg, gets him down for a quick two points. Barger working for back points here. He's got Roscoe's in a dangerous position on the outside. He just has two. So it gives him a 4-0 lead. Barger keeping his foot in on the edge of the mat. Roscoe's trying to work his way out. Barger working for the back points again in the middle of the mat. Archer still leading four to nothing. And Roscoe's on the ground here. 45 seconds to go in the first period. Much going on as the period ends. Barger leads four to nothing. Roscoe opts for neutral here. Trails four to nothing against Barger. Barger comes in ranks seventh in the country, sixteen and two. Go out of bounds again and they'll reset in the middle. Just Gettysburg needs to maintain at least the six point lead in the team standing, the team points. Because the Bullets will forfeit at heavyweight today. Both Paul Triandafalu and Zach Herman, the Gettysburg's two heavyweights, are on the injured reserve right now. Roscoe's tries to go in, but Barger quickly capitalizes and gets the takedown. 
Ups his lead to six to nothing with 35 seconds to go in the second period. Eight seconds to go. Barger leads six to nothing. In control of this match, though probably a little more low scoring than he expected. Excuse me, this is not Barger wrestling for Lycoming. Lycoming switching around their lineup. This is actually Swartwood, Swartwood, Hayden Swartwood. Barger's actually pacing the sidelines of behind the bench. That was my mistake. So Swartwood with a 9-0 lead over Roscos. Picking up the escape and the quick takedown. The official book is down on the on the court, so it's tough for me to figure out who's wrestling when two or three guys weigh in in a couple different weight classes. So I apologize for the Lycoming fans out there. That is Hayden Swartwood, who leads Austin Roscos. And I believe we'll see Brandon Conrad next to face Daniel Ebert. Does not look like Barger is going to wrestle today unless he's bumping up to 74. He looks ready to go on the sideline, though, so we'll see. Swartwood is in control of this match. He's got at least a major decision, leading 9 to nothing. Make that 10 to nothing on the penalty point. Stalling called on... Roscos. And that will be eleven to nothing. Swartwood wins. 